Hey everyone, Matt Sum here and welcome to a new tour. You join us in London and we're going to be showing you around a very, very special place today, but also Summer and I are both going to be in this tour. You used to just one of us touring around. It's going to be both of us and we're also going to be joined by the agent who's listing this property, Howard. So it's for sale at 20 million pounds with Aston Chase. Like usual, all their details will be in the description. Now, before we get into the tour, please go head over to our new Facebook page and also subscribe to our second channel where we're actually filming a behind the scenes video of today. So go and check that out. We'll put that in the description. Let's start the tour. Yeah, without further ado, Howard, come on. Um, Hi guys. Thanks for inviting us out Good morning. to check this place out. Um, we've got the sun coming out, which is which is cool. Okay. Which is no rare. rain today. Yeah, <laughs> but a beautiful setting. So yeah, yeah. So what are we um, about to explore? So what happened? This is Eglon House. It's thirteen thousand mm -hmm. square feet. Um, you've got wow. uh, it's two buildings which are joined at the lower level, which you'll yeah. see. Um, it's really really special. Um, it could be used as live work home space, uh, yeah. or someone as a family, or even someone's just purely use as a London lock up and go. But yeah. you'll see. It's 13,000 um, square feet. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Um, you've got 8,000 square feet in this part of the building. Yeah. And then the balance is in the other section over here, which you'll see. So I think this has got to be one of the most unusual places that we've seen. And yeah. for a lot of our international viewers, I think it's so interesting to see how a house like this is just tucked away in a muse. Um, it's quite unique to London, isn't it? This yeah. Place. So we're in Primrose Hill. We'll put a map on the screen to show you exactly where we are. Can you tell us a little bit more about this area? What are the main benefits? Yeah, the thing with here is that you've got the village literally around the corner. But the great thing about this property in particular is that it's quite hidden. Yeah, so yeah, it is. So if, if I didn't show you where it was today, yeah. you would never have found we it. We struggled to find it yeah. this morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so security is great as well. Um, in terms of parking, if someone wanted to have parking, they could pull onto here as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, majority, there's plenty of residents parking in the area. Yeah. Um, village, as I say, you just step out, local shops, restaurants, uh, the actual Primrose Hill, the London Zoo around the nice. corner as well. Uh, and getting into town from here is really easy. Awesome. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah we're start gonna start this side, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Wow, this looks cool. So as you see, you've got this extra volume here, which is amazing. Yeah. And again, this depends on how someone wants to use this space. Uh, you can see how they've got dining set up onto the right-hand side over here. Oh yeah, should we yeah, check, check this out? Yeah, let's check that out. Come through, guys. I'll show you this area. What I find interesting as well is it's a lot of concrete, isn't it? The ceiling, the walls here. Yeah. Yeah, I say a lot of things have been used in this house, which you'll see. I'll run through it as we go through the house, um, but it's very, very special. Do you know when it was originally constructed, this building? Uh, it took six years from planning to the build. So uh, three years of planning and then three years of actual build. Um, the house, as mentioned, it was rented uh, for three years by Tim Burton. Tim Burton, yeah. Yeah, yeah and really cool. uh, he's cool. creating Dumbo here. It definitely feels a really creative, unique space. I can imagine him getting really creative in here. So going to the kitchen over here. And what's quite nice about it is that you've got the main kitchen here, then you've got a secondary kitchen in the other building on the other side. Okay. Um, so if you're doing any, any entertaining, if someone wants to utilise this, you know, there's many people who have actually come in here and said, oh, listen, can we uh, display art and have a, 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 yeah. a, a gallery or something going on in the house, they could do that. Well, that um, commercial element, hasn't it? Yeah, so this part of the building is commercial, where the other side is residential. Okay. Um, so also, if someone purchasing the property this will be a staving and stamp duty as well on this side. Yeah, I think that's very important to know because the stamp duty on these houses can be pretty incredible in itself, yeah. right? <laughs> um, behind you here, uh, you've got a lot of storage. And in here, you've got double fridge, dishwasher, sink. Oh. What's quite nice is all heading out of the way. Yeah. Wow. You see that, guys? Wow. That then? Hmm. Pretty cool. Got a big fridge in here as well. What and I love about this kitchen is the worktop. Yeah, it's Italian marble, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it is, yes. Get a close up, pretty beautiful. And then this wolf, that's like top of the range. If you, They're great, it's like, look at the size yeah. of these ovens. I know. It's wow. so good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can have a huge party here, great for hosting. We've got the rear entrance here, so if you're entertaining, the idea is to come from here straight through. So you've got a place to hang up your coats and everything here as well and then you're coming in. And so walking in here is like yeah. quite a wow. Yeah, it is. 
factor as you walk into this. All right, okay. and then let's go back up here. Like so yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take you to the top floor. We'll go yeah. to the lift. Yeah. Okay. There are a few really exciting features that we haven't even seen yet. As we mentioned, this is the first time that we're seeing this place. Yeah. So yeah, we're excited too. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. I'm excited to see this special yeah, yeah. thing Come that on you're in. telling Come me on about. Here. Yeah. So, as you see, um, you've got just super open space here. And what I was saying before is that if someone was living in this house and they wanted to live there, you'll see the principal bedrooms on the floor below us, but this floor here could be used as workspace yeah. or someone actually can section this off into two, three bedrooms as well. Um, so the idea is that you'd have three bedrooms here, principal bedroom below us, and then you've got three uh, further bedrooms on the other side. And then if you look at the view from here, I, I'll have a look at this. This is the house I They're imagine someone here. like, the yeah. founder of Facebook. Oh, wow. <laughs> When's the last time you saw a pigeon egg? Oh, is that the surprise? Come close, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. The little mum just ran off, but she's keeping it here. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Being raised in a 20 million pound house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to go claim squatters' rights, that pretty pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is interesting though. It definitely feels like a workspace. Yeah, way, doesn't it? it does. Yeah, in terms of the actual, the other side, you can see where the solar panels are on the, uh, on the top of the other building. And also you'll see also the glass on here as well is all uh, grade A glass as well. Grade A glass, what's that? Yeah, it's been specially designed for this particular house. Nice. And there's air conditioning in here. Yeah, so you can it's feel nice that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you can feel that. But again, it's just super, super space. It really is. Yeah. What's and again, door? it's flexible. That'll take us back to the hallway again. Oh, got it. Okay, yeah. so it flows back yeah. through. Right. In yeah. fact, we can go back this way yeah. as we go downstairs. Yeah, let's go there. I've noticed there's and a then, lot of iPads. Or... Yeah, so you can control lighting, music, oh, yeah. and everything from there as well. Awesome. Oh, wow. This is cool. <laughs> so again, it's just superb space. The idea, the bed here, yeah. then you can fit wardrobes, freestanding wardrobes however you wish to do it. Um, you've got a lovely lounge area, and then it goes to the left-hand side where you've got your fabulous bathroom and shower. What's this surface? It looks like exposed just plaster. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, yeah, yes, it is. Nice. So this is all one bedroom? Correct, 2,000 square feet, a principal wow. bedroom. Wow. Some houses are 2,000 square feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about that for a bath? That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, and it, with it being open to the room as well, that's quite unique. Yeah. I guess you've got the curtains if you want to close it. Oh no, that's yeah. that. Yeah, no, give your privacy that way. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and then also the uh, match, uh, matched uh, marble oh, yeah. as well oh, in here. Oh, well, that's nice. And the then the actual light. cloakrooms yeah. on. The yeah, actual cloakroom toilet's though, yeah. on the other side here. Yeah, my shoes are so squeaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> wow, this is like a big apartment, isn't it? Yeah. That we yeah, see in is. London. People buy this as an apartment. But... It's such a big space for like living in. I feel like I'd want a quite a bit more furniture in here to make yeah. it more cozy. So you said it took six years to build. Mm. When was it built? Is it? Uh, this was done, uh, it was probably about eight, nine years ago when it was done, okay, finished. So pretty new, isn't it? Yeah, and it was... Actually less than that, sorry, slightly less than that. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah and it was, that side was inspired by the Maison de Verre. That's it. it the, the whole thing was uh, based on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. the whole thing was based on that. And uh, you know, you'll see when we go to the other side with the glass uh, yeah. tiles, you'll see. Very impressive. Yeah. Okay. Should we head over to that side? Yeah. Or yeah. what's that? What is there anything? No, yeah, we're going to go back downstairs from here as well. Ooh. Yeah, we've still got the main living yeah, yeah, part yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This house and just keeps going. There's an awesome feature, isn't there, in the swimming pool bit? Yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you that swimming pool, actually. Yeah, yeah. stay tuned. So, from this level here, we can get out to the courtyard. But when you, what I'm going to do is take you downstairs. And that's the other entrance. You've got the side entrance, guys, if you missed that earlier. That's right. As I mentioned before, that you've got a party or whatever, people coming from this entrance, or you've got caterers coming from here as well. They, they, they can they'll come from here. All right. 
So as you can see from here, you've got the lift to all floors. Yeah. All right. Incredible. Someone with a great art collection. This yeah, yeah. they'd love this, wouldn't they? Yeah, it really is. There's so much to take in. It's so, so unique, isn't it? What type of buyer do you think would be buying this? Would it be they would live here full time or would it be someone that comes to London? Yeah, yeah I was like I was with some people last week here and uh, their family living in London, um, three children, and they, you know, they love Primrose Hill. Yeah. Um, and the idea is then they'd split the top floor have you know two bedrooms on the top floor, principal bedroom, and then you'll see further bedrooms on the other side as well. Oh, okay. Wow. And then, you know, listen, we've had people, again, that live work, you know, opportunity, someone will come in from that. Someone tech who, who can actually maybe have an office on the top floor as well. Yeah. And you could be separate from the other side because even though you've got the principal bedroom here, you may want to use that for something else and they may decide actually, you know, we'll live in that section and work in this yeah. section. And it's completely separate. You just it's have so to flexible. a little walk to work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's only this bit here as well, which is great, that connects both properties, okay. which yeah, I'm gonna show you. Let's go. Wow, okay. So before I show you something very special here, let me just show you in here. Yeah. So you've got shower. Oh, wow. And toilet and changing this area here. Okay, and then door. That door will go to the yeah to this little courtyard here. Wow. Oh, I love that water. Yeah, that water board. feature, really nice. Here you go. Thank you. This is the like the cinema games, games room and swimming pool with a surprise, yeah. This and swimming pool. Awesome. Uh, so uh, guys, if you want to come <laughs> over here, yeah, and I'll show you how this works. Um, so the steps start from that section over there, and there you go. don't really have the same thing as says it for itself. Oh. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. How deep is it? Three meters. Three meters. And then when it comes back up, there's just like kind of a little bit of water. I'll show you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. Wow. Yeah, I think that's like, my like favorite it's, bit. It's still going down even now. It's like a full on pool. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll stop there and I'll bring it back up. So you can, but you can see how far it's gone down already. Yeah. So. It would be really fun to stand on it while it goes down. Yeah. <laughs> Don't push him in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's coming back so up now, yeah? you can see it coming up now. And you'll see as it comes up, the water's dispersing all the way around yeah. the flooring, as well as in the middle as well. Who wants to guess how much that costs? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was legit just thinking that. Yeah. I just think that it's the first thing you think, isn't it, when you're watching a video like this and you see that, it's like, okay, that's some serious money. So, so you can see where it is now. There you go. Wow. Wow. So that's still dispersing at the moment, and yeah. that, a lot of that will be gone within probably an hour, another half an hour, and then it'll be dry again within an hour. Perfect. That's incredible. We've not seen that before, have we? No, and it works really well because you've got a double use of the area, yeah. don't you? Especially yeah. somewhere like this in London, where you know you need space. And also, sometimes you know some indoor pools are not used a lot, yeah. or if they are used, it's great. So the opportunity here is when you need it. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's keep exploring. So you've got a bar area. Yep. Wine cooler. Nice. Real party room. Yeah. Um, so you got. This is all for storage and services on this side. Okay. And then on the other side here, this could be used as a gym. Oh yeah. And that's what's quite nice, having this access from here to go upstairs to the main courtyard as well. Oh yeah, so you don't have to go through. Yeah, that's right, straight yeah. Up. And then there's a toilet in here. Yeah, well. toilet and shower there as well. Oh, and shower, cool. So we're going up into the other side now. We're in the other section. Yeah. 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 Ah, I got it. So as I mentioned before, you've got a secondary kitchen area here as well. Ah. And then you've got a lovely sitting room on the other side of here. With this great volume again. 
Yeah, the ceiling height is just amazing. That would look incredible with all like books on. Yeah. Have you got enough books for that? No, I don't. <laughs> on, on Audible, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Finally, you've got enough head height for you. Yeah, I feel comfortable in here, I'm not ducking. Is that a, we've got a fire, real fireplace? Uh, the, the gas. Gas, yeah? Yes, it is. Cool. Okay, should we head upstairs? Yeah, okay. do it. We've got three bedrooms on this side, but again, it depends on how you want to use it because you could have principal bedroom here or you can have principal bedroom upstairs, which you'll see. So if we come in this way, so you've got shower room, toilets here. Okay. Is this wow. your marble? Is this marble? Yes, yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice, a lot of marble. Can we come in? Have a look how big it is. Gorgeous. Nice. And then does it flow around? And then that's the reason why, so you could utilize this as a sitting room, as a study or as a dressing. Depends on how you want to use it. Oh yeah. Dressing room, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mm, I guess I, I think someone's going to use the one upstairs. Okay. I think okay. I think this I think someone will utilize this possibly as a guest suite even. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll see the two bedrooms up here. Cuz I think this one here. It's nice because you got this lovely bathroom here with oh, the wow. lovely big bath. Have a look at that bath. Wow. There are five bedrooms in total, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, you can have up to seven. Yeah. It depends on how you use it, for sure. Okay. It's so bright in here. Yeah. Amazing marble in there. Where would you have the main bedroom? Would you keep it? Yeah, that keep one? that massive one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. And this, this is, is all lovely, yeah. That works, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's such an interesting place. Trying to think like how I would live here, because um, it's not the conventional type of house. Yeah, there's one thing seeing it and taking it all in, and the other is thinking like how how yeah. we would live. Yeah. And then you've got another bedroom on the other side over here. I do. These are interesting doors. Remind me of a ship. Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. it's just very similar style. It's very quiet, isn't it? It's very quiet. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a tour of the initial house itself, but there's still lots more to talk about all the, um, you know, like the finishes and everything. So we'll meet you down in the courtyard and chat over that, yeah? Yep. Cool. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're back outside now. Just before we finish the video, is there any other history that's quite interesting about this place that you want to share? Yeah, uh, originally it was used as a buildings for making shell casings during World War One. And also then thereafter uses a dairy. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then uh, it was recording studios and awesome. uh, the likes of Pink Floyd, Tina Turner. Wow. Uh, yeah. It, it's got some cool history then. Yeah, no, definitely. It's okay. very, very cool. And also in terms of the uh, wood, you've got Lebanese cedar through the house. Um, you've got uh, Portland Stone, yeah. Grade Museum, like track lighting as well throughout the whole house as well. Um, you've got that mixture of the industrial on this side, more on this side than you yeah. do on this side. But yeah. it's just a really special property, it really is. Yeah. And it's just so flexible how anyone wants to use it. For sure, and yeah, perfect for someone who wants a unique house like no other. That's certainly what it offers, isn't it? And I think if you want your workspace you know, intertwined with your living, this yeah. is the perfect place, because you could separate one of them one for the your other. work and the other for your residential. It's quiet. Yeah. yeah. So quiet. And then you can also, you're so close to the centre of London. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for the tour. We you're really welcome. appreciate I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you so Something much. Something unusual. Yeah, exactly. It's been, it's been our biggest tour, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah. 20 million. We haven't done anything in this price range yet in London. We're going to get some more tours with you, aren't we, booked in? Yeah, so we, yeah. stay tuned for that. Interesting things. Yeah, yeah cool. Be cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you in the next one.